Hello students, uh, this is Ganesh Sethiya and once again I am here to uh, elaborate you the insights of uh, Smithy Shop. Okay, so Smithy Shop is basically uh, related to metal working processes. Right, so theoretical aspect of this particular thing uh, is like heating the piece of metal to certain temperature and that certain temperature could be the recrystallization temperature. So, we heat the metal piece above its recrystallization temperature and then we apply pressure on the metal piece to make it as per the desired shape and size. So, that is the basic theoretical aspect. Basic, just basic. So, uh, you might wonder about what is recrystallization temperature, you might wonder about why we uh, heat this material up to certain that recrystallization temperature and above the recrystallization temperature, why we apply pressure at that temperature only, why can't we apply the pressure at room temperature as it is, yes we can, but there is one phenomena which is called softening of material, softening of material. You know, this metal piece has got few of the bonds, like metallic bond, right? There are bonds, valence, metallic, and then there are various bonds, atomic bonds. So, metals have metallic bonds, okay? So, heating the metal piece above recrystallization temperature, what is recrystallization temperature there? Just we, we talked about bond first and then we just jump to recrystallization because it has got a correlation, you know. As soon as the temperature increases, the temperature increase in the metallic body loosens the bond between the atoms and that is why metal becomes soft. And when from, uh, if we think or if we, uh, if we see the molten state, if the metal is in molten state and when it is it solidifies, it changes its phase, that is from liquid state to the solid state. At that particular time, there are some crystals which are formed because this is the crystalline structure, you know. The metal is a crystalline structure, not amorphous one. Amorphous structure is brittle, hota hai. crystalline structures are strong and hard. Right? Also they possess some sort of ductility property. So when the crystal form at particular temperature, we have to heat this rod above that temperature. And in case of steel, it has got three phase changes from liquid to the solid. First it becomes delta iron, then it, it becomes gamma iron, then it becomes alpha iron. That means three changes are there. Right? So, the gamma iron is a ductile and has got FCC structure and you know FCC face centered cubic structure is a soft structure, ductile structure. That is why we recrystallize this rod in the furnace, right? We make it red hot or look like orangish and then we will apply pressure by our hand. So, this is basically called as hot working when you are starting me he the smithy comes under metal working process so there are two types of metal working processes one is cold working and the other one is hot working so we will concentrate ourselves to hot working in cold working the pressure requirement is high and in hot working the pressure requirement is very low okay so this is uh, the basics of uh, uh, this um, uh, smithy you know how this particular thing works okay so today we will see the complete procedure of making a job in our smithy shop so for that there are several tools kept uh, in front of me okay, what we will be using we will use uh, furnace we will use this hammer this is also a ball pin hammer can you see in welding practical i have already shown you 
the type of hammer this is ball pin hammer and come closer i can uh, tell you how the hammers are specified see here here there is a name written taparia the taparia is a brand name okay this taparia is a brand name and you can see the weight of the hammer this weight of the hammer ultimately gives you ultimately gives you the how much potential energy you can create to deform the job okay so this is 600 grams of the hammer head this we'll use this outside caliper what i said earlier this outside value caliper for permanent marking by taking the dimension from here this scale right rule this tool rule will mark it out and then keeping this rod this thing on the anvil we will mark it with the help of hammer okay so it will it will create a permanent marking on this okay so and up to that particular marking we will make our dimensions ya yeah, isko kaisa karna hai isko isko bend karna hai ya fir isko uh, elongate karna hai so that we will see so this is the basic introduction of the tools what we will be using in our smithy shop okay so we will quickly see the demonstrative pieces what we have made in the smithy shop so can you see these are the demonstrative pieces what earlier batches are we all made it for your convenience sake okay so this is the round and this is round and l shape hook is l shape okay this is semi circular clamp this is made out of this rod you see you see this is the plain rod which is 200 to which is 200 mm by 12 mm of diameter okay we we will verify this before going into working so out of this rod we made all those things so this is your semi circular clamp square square point l type hook then the circular ring attached with l hook okay then this u clamp then round ring this crane hook or this l shape yeah uh, j shape hook so we will make this job this j shape hook we can make all the jobs together in single practical so we will make this j type hook so quickly going to the job drawing so quickly going to the job drawing so what we have discussed that we will be making that j type hook okay j hook okay this is l hook so in this l hook we will just elongate this part here right so it will be becoming j so what is the cross section there we will go on the job and we will see see come closer that is come closer okay so one of the end one of the end is your square cross section and this square cross section is 10 mm by 10 mm and a 10 mm ka width hai aur 10 mm ka height hai okay and the length it goes to 150 right so this will we will make this 150 square cross section from here to here 150 cross section so the first marking will be on 150 not on this when we make this round shape then only we will make our marking okay then from this 150 it will be like 20 mm on 20 mm there will be a bend there will be a bend and from this bend on 60 mm this bend will be there see this is from here to here this is 60 and above 60 there will be 20 mm of extension so it will create a j type hook okay so this will make a j type hook okay so we will make this job we will make this job or we will make this job okay so this is the demonstrative piece why i am explaining this because this job and this job is very similar l type hook 
and z also so probably we will make this job to save our energy and time okay so we will make up to one up to 140 up to 140 we will make 10 mm thickness uh, square section 10 mm and then from here on 60 mm we will make this bend okay this we will keep this round we will keep this round for 12 uh, diameter 12 okay so we will make this job we will take a base of j section this j hoop but we will make this particular job okay so this is your smithy shop practical drawing so either this or this okay we will probably make this if time allows we will go for that job okay so this is your <coughs> job drawing and the demonstrative piece here okay so we will quickly move to rest of the uh, tools what we will be using in this time okay so this particular setup what you see is called as open hearth furnace now why open hearth furnace Come on, I'll show you. This is your hearth. This is your hearth. This is called hearth. Right? So, on this hearth, we will put all those coal. This coal. This coal we will put here. We will fire it. Okay? And once it once it fires up, we will heat our rod, our job, and then we will go for the uh, for the practical, actual practical. So, before going into the further details of the procedure, we will quickly see the parts of this particular open hearth furnace. What you see on the top is a chimney. That's a chimney, right? Chimney kya hota hai? Jahan se apna jo yahan se jo bhi fumes ya fir dhua niklega, wo pura ka pura chimney se bahar jayega. Okay? This is called Hearth. This is hearth. This is called hearth. Hearth. H e a r t h. Hearth. Okay. These are the legs. Okay. And this is your blower. Can you see? This is your blower. Which, which when starts, will it is connected to the hearth from the bottom so there will be a blow of air can you see this thread is moving all because of the blow of the air right so here the continue hawa aati rahegi and it will help this coal to fire up quickly right so the blower is a part of open up furnace or any furnace blower to rehna chahiye because extra amount of air and extra amount of oxygen is needed to quickly make it uh, uh, burn okay so and uh, the next uh, tool what we will be using is called as this this is your anvil this is called as anvil okay anvil ke kya part ho sakte this is called horn this is horn or some people call it call it big big जो पंची का बीक होता है ना या फिर गेंडे का हॉर्न होता है वैसा जो राइनोसोरस होता है राइनो उसका हॉर्न होता है ना वो उस टाइप का स्ट्रक्चर है तो दैट इज व्हाई सम टाइम इट इज कॉल्ड हॉर्न और इट लुक्स लाइक अ बीक जो पक्षी का चोंच होता है वैसे तो इट्स अ बीक राइट दिस इज कॉल्ड बेस ओके दिस इज कॉल्ड योर का बोल सकते हो सपोर्ट प्लेटफार्म ओके और लेग्स और बेस ओके एंड दिस इज योर वर्किंग प्लेटफार्म these are called these two holes one and two these are called swag holes these are called swag holes so i will share the diagram for this particular anvil you will get to know everything okay so this is anvil that thing is uh, open hut for nest and few of the tools which are kept on the uh, table those are uh, hammer, tong, outside caliper, uh, steel rule, etc. Okay, so 
we will also be quickly see the demonstrative diagrams what we have uh, uh, displayed in this shop. So these are the blacksmith's chisels. See how the chisels are. There is a hot chisel. Okay, hot chisel. के बाद में cold chisel भी है. Okay, and so how those uh, uh, things are uh, 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 in work. Can you see the, those are swag holes, the hardy holes in the anvil. तो वहाँ पे आपने एक chisel का part डाला हुआ है, right? And then the chisel is mounted on the top. Work is in between, and then you strike on the top. Okay, so these are the joints. These are the pressure weld joints. These are the pressure weld joints. This is called blacksmith's weld. भी बोलते हैं, okay? So this is smithy weld, smith welding joints. Okay, solid state, solid state joints बोलते हैं हम लोग इसको. So there is the butt welding, scarf weld, V R splices weld, then स्कार्फ वेल के लिए कैसे प्रिपेयर करते हैं है ना प्रिपरेशन ऑफ स्प्लाइस वेल के लिए कैसे प्रिपेयर करते हैं फिनिश वेल्डिंग कैसा दिखता है ओके सो एवरी थिंग यू बिकॉज दैट मीन्स दिस स्मिति कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज फॉर द वेल्डिंग ऑपरेशन ओके टू फॉर्म अ स्ट्रॉन्ग ज्वाइंट सो दिस इज दिज आर द हैंड फॉर्जिंग ऑपरेशन फ्यू ऑफ द हैंड फॉर्जिंग ऑपरेशन ओके आउट ऑफ विच वॉट वील बी डूइंग वी विल बी वी विल बी डूइंग स्वैग ऑपरेशन ऑन दिन ओपन 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 फॉर्जिंग के लिए राइट सो दीज आर दैंड टूल्स फ्यू ऑफ दैंड टूल्स हियर देन हैमर्स कैसे होते हैं देर आई देर आर फ्यू हैमर्स डिस्प्लेड ओवर हियर सो देर इज डबल फेस स्लेज हैमर ओके दिस साइड सो डबल स्लेज स्लेज हैमर इज देयर स्ट्रेट पिन स्ट्रेट पिन स्लेज हैमर इज देयर देन क्रॉस पिन Uh, sledge hammer is there, and then the the smith's hammer is also there. Okay. Hmm. So these are the these are few of the hammers. Okay. The blacksmith what what blacksmith professional blacksmith blacksmith use. Okay. So here again you can see these are the blacksmith swages. Okay. वो स्वैग स्प्रिंग स्प्रिंग स्वैग है ऊपर और नीचे तो जैसे जैसे स्ट्राइक करते जाओगे सो बीच में आपको उतना गैप भी मिलता जाएगा तो सी हाउ टू यूज दोस्त तो हार्डी होल में आपने उसको डाल रखा है लोअर एंड को एंड देन टॉप एंड को आपने रखा है एंड देन यू स्ट्राइक इट आउट सो दिज आर फ्यू ऑफ द डिस्प्ले डायग्राम सो अगर सी द लिस्ट ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट फॉर स्मिदी शॉप ऑन द टॉप यू कैन सी ऑन द टॉप यू कैन सी there is the list of the experiment what we will be doing or practicals what we will be doing so introduction to smithy smithy tools we have done equipments machine materials and processes okay then forging hum log karenge hand forging and to make a square rectangular cross section we will make a square cross section okay so this is how it is so we will go and fire the furnace first We will go and fire our furnace first. हम लोग उसको जलाएंगे अच्छे से, and then we will wait for some time, and then we will start our working. Okay? So for firing of the furnace, you need a few of the things like some cloth, which is oil filled, or machine shop में हमारे already available है ये चीजें. तो हमको ज़्यादा दिक्कत नहीं होती है. Okay? So we will make a base for it. Right. Then we will take some wooden scrap. These are the chips, wooden chips. What we get in our carpentry or pattern making shop. We we'll put this on here. Right. Then we will take few of the wooden pieces. These are the wooden pieces, scrap wooden pieces. We will keep these on. pieces okay and do not forget to uh, 
कीप यूर सेल्फ सेफ वाइल यू आर डूइंग दोज हाई टेम्परेचर वर्क लाइक बिल्डिंग में भी आपने देखा होगा और एप्रॉन राइट एंड मेरे बॉडी में कहीं पर भी लूज क्लोथिंग नहीं है मेरे स्लीवस ऊपर है राइट मैंने मेरी आई प्रोटेक्ट करके रखी हुई है ऑल्सो आई हैव पुट ऑन माई शूज राइट सो ऑल द मे यू शूड कीप दिस इन माइंड बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी रिस्की जॉब यू सी अब हैमर मैंने आपको दिखाया दिज आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ हैमर ओवर देर राइट वन इज सिक्स हंड्रेड ग्राम ऑफ हेड एंड सेकेंड इज एट हंड्रेड ग्राम्स ऑफ हेड वॉट इफ इट स्लिप्स ऑन यूर हैंड एंड इट फॉल्स डाउन ऑन योर लेग्स आठ सौ ग्राम आठ सौ ग्राम एक मीटर के हाइट से आपके पैर पे गिर गया सो यू यू आर नॉट हर्ल राइट सो मे बी योर फूड गेट डैमेज सो फॉर दैट यू शुड बी वेरी केयरफुल सो यू शुड पुट ऑन ऑल द पर्सनल थिंग्स लाइक एप्रॉन एंड देन शूज योर आईज आर कवर्ड सो ऑल दो थिंग्स सो यू शुड कीप दिस इन माइंड सो वेन आई फायर दिस फॉर दिस बिकॉज राइट नाउ आई एम नॉट डूइंग एनी थिंग uh like uh, working with high temperature i'm just firing up the furnace right but after firing up the furnace i will also use my hand gloves jaise maine welding mein use kiya tha waise hand gloves bhi mere paas rahenge so one of the thing which which is very mandatory as a safety precaution you should be using it is mandatory and it is very much uh, essential to use hand gloves while working with high temperatures okay so i'll just fire it up so it will take some time okay ki firing itni jaldi nahi ho waise bhi barsat ka season hai so i don't know how much time it will take but uh, within 10 15 minutes we will get the very rare out frame over here so i turned on the blower okay i turned on the blower so it will make it quick Job when this furnace starts, there is a lot of fumes, Okay, students. Uh, we will let this uh, fire up first. I will pause for a moment. Okay. Once it is it fires up, we will put all the coals and then we will start our practical. Till then, yes, it is fired up. So, furnace is fired up now, right? So we will we will switch off the blower. Just switch off the blower. And now. कोल, दिस इज कोल, ओके मराठी में तगड़ी तगड़ी कोल सा बोलते इसको राइट सो वी विल दिस थिंग इन इट बिकॉज इट हैज गॉट अ गुड कैलिंग बिट वेल ओके सो वी विल दिस कोल इन क्लियर ऑल द वे Okay. 
when this furnace goes very red hot, then and then only we will put our workpiece into it. Okay? So we will wait for 10-15 minutes again. This furnace is ready to heat anything now. So it's good burn. Now we will quickly go to the job and mark it out. Right? We have to make J Utna. So for that, what we will need? We will need a marking, permanent marking, so that we can work in the margins. Okay? So quickly coming to the end. You see, this is our job. And now this is total 230, 230 mm length total. Can you see? 230 mm total length. So it is 230 mm. So for J hook, what we require? 20 mm and then 60 mm. So we will mark it on 80. And again, uh, for uh, 10 mm of margin, we will we will leave. So we will go for 20 plus 60, total 80, and 10 mm margin. So that means we will convert it to 90. So we will mark it on 90 mm. So keeping this here, and this is your 90. So it is very difficult. Raw me nahi karte hum log. I will get the outside caliper and then do it. We'll do it. Just put it So this is outside caliper. We will adjust it to 90. So it's 90 now. Can you see? It's 90. अरे गुरुदेव इकड़ दाखवा इकड़ इकड़ ना इंटिया इकड़ नहीं है कुटा बात है तुम्हें इकड़ ऐसा ए तो दिस इज़ नाइंटी ओके सो वी विल फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ़ द एंड वी विल मार्क इट सो द सेम प्रोसीजर टॉप में Here we will match the ends, we will match the ends, we will take this chisel, we will take this chisel, we will keep here matching to the rod and now with the help of this hammer we will mark. So this is our permanent marking now. Okay. So this is total Can you see? It's total 90 mm Okay So 90 we have mark Now We put this rod Inside the furnace Now This end we will make J. Okay? First bend, second bend. Here. But from this end we will have to make it square. So we will 
hold here we will hit hit this section first and then we will beat it to square section now taking this and putting it inside the furnace Make it straight. 
It has lose it lo it lost its heat. It lost its heat, so we will heat it again. So it will heat it. Okay. check whether this is 10 mm or not if we have achieved width and length 10 mm then we will stop working here so it's uh, we have achieved 10 mm can you see we have achieved 10 mm here here also we have achieved 10 mm so and the length you will see also the length so we have achieved length of 140 so it is very correct okay so this type of this side it is very clear now we will jump down to next slide next side before jumping down to next side we will make it straight can you see this marking we made this marking earlier okay from here it is 140 now so we will bend this rod from here to here 60 mm so for that we will have to make a marking so setting the outside caliper to 60 mm It is sixty now. Okay, now we will mark here from this line to the here. So where is my chisel? So keeping this one end on the marking and second end on the other end.
and striking with the hammer. So can you see we made the marking? Oh, it's too hot. So that is why it is very much necessary. You should grab it in the tongue. Okay. So this is the marking here to here sixty and here to here twenty. So we will bend this part and then this part. Okay. So we will hit this section now. for the marking so marking put a little so this is the marking i guess so this is the marking here we will make it keeping this here on marking and now striking it here Can you see the structure is like J hook now? But we have lost our perpendicularity here. But we have what perpendicular here? So what we'll do? We will make it right. Okay. It is 
very much easy now to grab here okay and you have to correct this part so you can correct this part over here This is your J-hook. See, what have we done? We just done two important things over here. First, hitting it in the furnace, hitting it in the open hub furnace, getting it to end well, using those slack or hardy holes, using use of this platform, use of this big or arm. The ruler scale, the chisel, the outside caliber for marking, and tongue for holding the workpiece, right? And those, and close. Okay. So the job is now complete. Now you can take this job. Go to some cooling place like you can cool it in the air, but it will take a lot of time. You can go put this in the bucket of water or under some sort of water tap. You can cool it out, okay? And then this job is completed. We have maintained all the dimensions. This is 140 from here, 60 from here, and 20 from here. Okay, so this is your J hook what we have performed today. Now I will quickly cool this and I will meet you on the table. Okay, so till then just pause the video. This is it. Bangkala, Bangkala. From this end, right? We have achieved 140 from this end, then 60 here and 20 mm here. So this is the complete J hook with all the straightness. So it is straight on this side, this side, this side, this side. This is complete 90 and this is complete 90. So this is how it is. Okay. So. Uh, This is all about the Smithy shop. This is all about the Smithy shop. Okay. So, looking at very use of various things, furnaces and those tools, uh, that has to be kept in mind and it has to be understood by you people. The theoretical aspect of this thing, how, why this has become like this, like what are the phenomena, what are the physical phenomena for behind the. Uh, behind this process and the types of the process and all, so we will see in the theory theory class. Okay, so thank you very much. Thanks a lot for your time. This is Professor Ganesh Sethia signing off. We will meet in the next video. Thank you very much. <laughs>